I've now been a DoorDash driver for five years and over those years I've learned a lot of tricks to the trade and so in this video I'm going to be sharing seven hacks that DoorDash probably doesn't want you to know but these are good things that you guys can use the first one being that you can reactivate your doordash account if you get deactivated now i made a whole video breaking down how you can do this in my past video so i'll just link that up at the top for you if you want to check that out and get the full breakdown on how to do that but don't worry if you've been deactivated i've been deactivated multiple times and you can get your account back the next thing DoorDash probably really doesn't care about, but you can get free food as a DoorDash driver. There's actually one place in particular, maybe this is just in my area, but I think it might be all around the country. I'm not sure on this, but Krispy Kreme donuts, if you go through the drive through on your DoorDash order and ask for a donut, they will give you that for free. Now you can also do this with a lot of other places. I had a connection at Little Caesars because I went there so many times. I made a connection there and I was able to get free pizza there sometimes. So if you make friends with the workers, you're going to the same restaurants over and over again. It's pretty simple to do this and you can usually get free food while you're out on the go. Now the third hack you can use, which DoorDash definitely doesn't want you to know, you can get paid for an order that was already delivered that you got assigned to. So if you've been dashing for a while, you probably we have run into this problem where you show up to a restaurant and they say another dasher already picked up your order and you're basically just SOL at that point. You can reach out to DoorDash and I think you can get half pay for the order. But I always thought that was super unfair and just annoying because it was DoorDash's mess up. You should be getting paid for the full amount. And so what you can do is just text the customer and be like, hey, was your order already dropped off? And if they say yes, then you're in the clear to use this hack. So you can just confirm that you picked up the order and then drive to the drop off location, but then you don't actually drop it off and you just say you handed it to the customer. The customer gets their food, you get the full pay for the order. And really the only one who gets screwed in this situation is DoorDash because they end up paying for an order twice. The one dasher who actually delivered the order and for their mess up for sending you an order that was already delivered. But be careful when you use that because I'm not entirely sure if that could lead to deactivation. I did it a bunch of times and my deactivations never directly correlated with that. So I think you're in the clear to use it. Hopefully no one from DoorDash sees this video and you'll still be in the clear to use this. Now, number four is that you can have guaranteed pay as a DoorDash driver. One of the biggest downsides of being a dasher is that there's such variability when it comes to pay. It all depends on when you go out during the day, if it's busy or not, how many dashers are on the road, if there's traffic, if the restaurants are quick, there's just so much variability. So one thing you can use as as a tool to help you combat this is the solo app. So they have a really cool feature that's called guaranteed pay. And if you schedule out your shift through that app and put in the hours you're gonna be working, they will give you an estimated guaranteed pay that you can expect. And then if you go out and you don't end up making that amount, they will pay you out the difference. So it's a really cool feature. And with that app, you can also track your miles. They have some tax help and some other great tools in there as well. So if you wanna up your DoorDash game, start making some more money, then I highly recommend using the link I have for you down below in the description and download the solo app because all the tools they have are just gonna help you make more money. And when you sign up using that link, you're gonna get a bonus $10 already. So it's a win-win all around. But DoorDash doesn't like you using third-party apps because they like to control everything. So they don't want dashers knowing that there's apps out there that can help you make more money. So again, I highly recommend you downloading it and it will only help you on your daily dash. The fifth thing DoorDash doesn't want you to know is that you can multi-app. Now you've probably heard of this one already, but you can use multiple apps and not have it lead to deactivation. You gotta be super tactful about how you go about this because I've done this before and I got a little too out of hand with it. I was accepting orders from DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats all at the same time. I had three to four to sometimes five orders in the car with me at once, all in hot bags. But when DoorDash or the other apps see you not following the exact trail that they want you to go on, then sometimes they get a little bit suspicious and that can lead to deactivation. But if you go about the right way and don't accept multiple orders off of multiple platforms at once, unless their drop off and pickup locations are almost in the exact same spot, then you should be fine. You can use different apps to combat the slow times while you're out on your dash. So that's a big tip that will definitely help you increase your hourly pay, but DoorDash definitely doesn't want people to know about this. And so that's why if they find out that you are using multiple apps, it can lead to deactivation, I think. Now, number six is that you can see stack order pay individually. So when you receive a stack order and it's all combined into just one total, you can actually go in and see each individual order's pay, select the one that's higher, for less mileage and just do that order and unassign the garbage order. Cause usually what DoorDash does is they stack one pretty good order on top of one that no one is accepting. One that's like $3 for 
eight miles or something like that. Just a no tip garbage order. They pair with a really good order that's like $11 for five miles. A customer that has tipped really well, so they pair that garbage order on top of it so that it looks more appealing. It ends up being $14 for 10 miles instead of that one garbage order that will never ever get accepted. So the way you can basically go around that system is I believe you click on the three little hash marks on the top of the screen and then it shows you the individual names of the orders. You click on whichever one you want and then click unassign and it will actually tell you the remaining amount you'll get paid if you do unassign that order. So do that with both. See which one is going to pay you out more and then just do that order instead of having to do the one garbage order that shouldn't be accepted anyway because the customer didn't tip. Now number seven is the mileage that shows up on orders is usually not correct and there's no really good way to go about figuring out the exact mileage unless you know your area very well you can tell sometimes that the mileage is not what it actually is. So I don't really know how you would go about figuring this out exactly, but if you've been doing DoorDash long enough, then now that you know that sometimes the order mileage doesn't always meet what it actually is, you can figure that out on your own. Maybe type in the restaurant into your maps or something. But once you've been doing DoorDash long enough and you know that DoorDash is not always right on the mileage, then you can start figuring that out for yourself. But anyways, hopefully these seven hacks help you guys out on your daily dash. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.